Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Have you ever wondered if Fitbit Premium is worth the money, or what Fitbit Premium even is? Well, today I'm going to show you some things you can do with the Fitbit Premium app that you cannot do with the standard version, and I'll show you both the free and paid versions, so you can decide for yourself if you think it's worth the money or not, and I'm going to tell you if I think it's personally worth it as well. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So the first thing I wanna let you know about Fitbit Premium is that you do not need Fitbit Premium to use any Fitbit smartwatch or activity tracker. You can use it completely fine with all features available. The Fitbit Premium affects the app and your app experience. It does not affect what you're seeing on your smartwatch. So Fitbit Premium has eight different features that we do not have on the standard version. I'm gonna show you all of these features. So Fitbit Premium is a paid membership and depending on where you live, the prices do differ. I've gone ahead and thrown the current prices on screen for Canada and United States. And I do wanna let you guys know when you do buy a majority of Fitbit um, activity trackers or Fitbit smartwatches like the Fitbit Inspire 3, the Fitbit Lux, for example, they do come with Fitbit Premium free trials. So you can get to try this out for yourself for a couple months. So the first Fitbit Premium feature is the daily readiness score. You can check it in the morning and it tells you how ready you are to do a workout. So it takes into account things like the amount of exercise you've been doing, the sleep you've been doing, and more, and it will come up with a score for you. Here is my daily readiness score for the last four days. And you can see today it's at excellent. So my activity has been light today. I had a good sleep and my heart rate variability is average. And you can go ahead and click on all of these and see you know, a bit more detailed information if you would like to do so. So going down, now we, here we have recommended activities for today and they have recommended zone minutes. So telling me to go over this amount of minutes today. And these are some activities they're recommending I can do. It ranges from one to 100. Once again, here are some example of things that do impact your daily writing a score. It's just a helpful metric that can let you know at a quick glance like, hey, Will I have enough energy to get through a hard workout today? Or maybe should I take it easy, do something else? Things like that. And honestly, I do find it pretty accurate on days when I have like a really hard workout and then the next day I'm just like, ugh, feeling drained. It reflects that, but it's honestly not something that I use very much. All right guys, if you're finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So the next thing we have on Fitbit Premium is your sleep profile. So it takes your sleep data from your last month and it looks at your sleep trends, it looks at the amount of time you slept overall and your habits and it provides you with a animal rating for that. And this can change month to month depending on your sleeping habits and your behaviors. So for me right now, you guys can see I do have the bear right now. You know, it will show your typical sleep data and it also shows you the other sleep animals that you might fall into. And I will say that I have had these change monthly. Um, for example, you can see I've been a bear, giraffe, parrot, and if you were interested in all of that, they kind of explain all of those sleep stages and they give you some advice about, you know, why you are categorized that way. And I just find it's a cute little metric, something fun to see. Another thing we have is advanced sleep analytics or data. And when you go into here, I think a lot of people would find this helpful because you can see a lot more detailed things. So you're seeing this right here. So this metric alone is a lot more data than you get on the standard version. So I have the standard version on the right for you here and you can see, you know, we're not getting nearly all of this information. So when I click on time asleep, you can see your exact time asleep, your time awake, and it shows a little graph of all of that. You can go ahead and make that bigger if you want to. And then you also see the deep and REM. And then finally, we could see our restorative sleep. So you just got a lot more data at your kind of fingertips. Like if you're someone who's really like wanting and needing more sleep data, I think you'd find this really beneficial. The next Fitbit Premium feature that we do have is the wellness report. So this is going to give you a 30 day average of your overall kind of wellness and fitness score based on what the watch is um, kind of tracking from you and then also your personal input about you know factors like your age your gender um, activity level all that stuff and then you can go ahead and request your report and then fitbit will send it to you so that can be really helpful if you are someone who wants that information so i'm just going to throw my wellness report on screen for you guys just to give you an example of what it would look like Another Fitbit Premium feature we have is the mindfulness sessions. So these are great for people who want to meditate and just kind of relax. 
Um, we get some nice music that's calming and relaxing, and we can get some kind of spoken um, meditation guide you through your session. So just for an example, I will play this one. Hey, this is Oren. The aim of most meditation is to stay alert and aware of whatever's happening. At night, it's the opposite. We're ready to let go of everything and... That's an example of that. Relaxing sounds is also really helpful if you're someone who you like to fall asleep to certain sounds, that could be awesome for you. Or if you're someone who you like to meditate to the sound of water, for example. So when it comes to the mindfulness sessions here, there are some free ones available, as you can see here. And here's an example of a free one. Begin by taking slow, deep breaths in through your nose. So the mindfulness sessions have a lot of great kind of media that can help you with creating a mindful atmosphere. I find them really helpful when I do try to meditate. So the next thing we have on Fitbit Premium are exclusive workouts. So with our video workouts here, we have an abundance of premium stuff. But when we come over to the premium ones, so yeah, see, I can just keep scrolling, guys. Like, <laughs> there are so many workouts. And we do have some free ones, which I'll show you guys. Maybe about 20 or so. But the free workouts we do have, I think, are pretty great. For example, I'll show you guys this one, the seven minute hit. And once again, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. I don't wanna get like copyrighted, but I'll show you guys What's a few seconds. Hello and welcome to Fitbit Premium. I'm Diamond, alongside me is AJ. And make sure you catch your breath, breathe through the process. Use this time to catch your breath. All right, you're doing great. You're doing great. Don't. So you can definitely get by with free workouts on here, but I will say that they have a lot more premium than free workouts on here. So if you're someone who loves to do home workouts, this is definitely a great option for you. You know, you can do some stretching, you can do ab workouts, cardio, and more. And I will just give you guys a quick example of a premium workout here. What's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Raz the Diva. Welcome to Fitbit Premium. I'm here with my main chick, Poofy. <laughs> Fantastic. Make sure now, I know everybody wants a nice, good looking butt, but here's what I That's just a quick example. I personally am someone who loves doing just like at home video workouts. There's no thinking required. I can just watch what they're doing, <laughs> follow it, and have a good workout. So I love having an uh, abundance of premium workouts here. If you're someone who you like to do these type of workouts and you're just finding you know the free ones aren't enough and YouTube ones aren't enough then this could be definitely a great option for you and once again I know Will Smith has the whole collaboration with Fitbit and if you do want to do the Will Smith workouts they are in the premium version so the next Fitbit premium feature we have are fun games and challenges so I personally love these they have some that you can play solo and some that you can play with you know friends or others who also have Fitbits and have the app so you can do step challenges you know stuff like this like here are some challenges you can do for free and then these also you can do for free and one that I really love is the bingo. So you are going to go ahead and get as many steps in or be as active as you can within a set time period, for example, an hour. All your activities count towards, you know, gaining you some points and then your points are going to unflip your bingo cards. And then, you know, when you get bingo, you win. So the more active you are, the more chance you have at winning this game. So I personally do find that to be fun and they have you know, some other virtual challenges as well for the premium. So the last thing that Fitbit Premium has over standard is we have some fantastic recipes on here. And the great thing about these is that they are all video recipes. So I'm someone who I'm a very visual person, so I would rather see a recipe being made than read about the steps for a recipe. So I love that we have these here. And I've actually tried these peanut butter oat energy balls and they are awesome. They taste really similar to the ones at Freshy, if you guys have tried those before, but you get to make these at home for way less of a price and they're just as good. And you can go ahead and toggle, you know, your different um, type of dietary restrictions like diabetes, gluten-free, heart healthy, vegetarian, high fiber, and more. And I personally have a gluten-free diet and I would toggle it by that and then just look at all these different options that we have here. 
And the great thing about this is that they don't just have snacks, they have full meals you can get on here. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all of it. So for example, I will show you guys uh, this one. So basically it walks you through all the ingredients, the cook time. So I just think that's a great feature here. It's something that I definitely have taken advantage of. And that's it guys. Like that is what Fitbit Premium has to offer. And if you had a Fitbit for a while and you're like, oh, I don't wanna buy a new watch to get a trial, chances are if you click on the Fitbit Premium to start a membership, they will give you a trial if you have not tried it before. I definitely think it's worth trying it out if you haven't tried it already and see exactly if it's worth it for you. Um, for me, I love that I'm able to have like the extra sleep data and I love the recipes. I'm currently on a Fitbit Premium trial. I haven't even bought it yet because when I bought my Inspire 2, it came with a one-year trial and that's gonna be ending you know, soon for me. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to upgrade to get Fitbit Premium because I don't think that it's gonna be worth it for me personally. Um, I really do like some of the features like having workouts on here and the meals and stuff, but for me, it's definitely not worth it because I don't take advantage of all of these features. I just take advantage of about two or three of them. So for me, Fitbit Premium is not worth it, but it can definitely be worth it for you depending on, once again, if you're going to take advantage of these features or not. And if you are interested in getting a new Fitbit activity tracker or smartwatch, I have done reviews on many of them, which you could find on my channel, Abby B Reviewing. I have a whole Fitbit playlist on my channel. You can find, you know, the best Fitbit for you. And I hope this video did help you, you know, decide if Fitbit Premium is worth it for you or not. If there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.